Okay. Hey, we're down at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our website at www.timelessartgr.com. We're going to be uh, <coughs> gum shading this uh, buffet here. I just want to show you one of the doors. There's a, a pair of doors that fit in here. They sit here just like that. <coughs> But I'm going to be taking, uh, I keep the doors off, uh, you know. Here, you know that, honey. I'll be spraying the, the, the doors separately. I'm also taking the drawers out at this point because a lot of the shading I want to get is in here and some of the other areas. So I'll take the drawers out, put the drawers in once I get the cabinet the color that I'd like. Let's see, I gotta find my respirator. Do you focus on that? Hmm. Where is my mask? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I just got a little light walnut. I got a, a walnut color shader. I'm gonna be uh, shading it with there, so. That'll be coming out of the first gun, which is right here.
Well, <coughs> that's just one coat of finish. Excuse me. I'm going to put a second coat on here after I'm done with this video. Um, there's already three coats of finish on here. Then it was sanded. Now I just shaded a little bit along the edges here. The color on this is really pretty. I really like it. Um, so I don't want to put a whole lot of color on the piece and uh, just make it real dark. And that's a view of it from the front. I'll put one more coat on that uh, here today in a few minutes, uh, probably in 10 minutes. And then I will uh, work on the back side of the doors, put a little bit of color on them and coat them out. And then uh, tomorrow I will sand this, do a little bit more of whatever I feel I need to do. Could be a little touch up, could be a little shade work here and there. I'll get the rest of the color on it and then probably put about another four coats on the front of that uh, on top of the piece and coat out the front <coughs> of the drawers it's looking pretty good it goes with this uh gorgeous chair mm -hmm. here's the chairs over here Pretty. Yeah. And this is one of the table leaves. It's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Can you see how pretty that is? Yeah. Very um, pretty. It would be a shame just to muck that up and just go too dark on the color. Um, I haven't seen wood this beautiful in uh, many, many years. This is just the most prettiest veneer I've ever seen mm -hmm. on a piece of furniture. Very, very unique. And we get a lot of furniture coming in and out of this shop from antiques to uh, fine furniture like Kendall, Baker's, and Whittacombe's. But I've never gotten a piece uh, of furniture like this entire outfit. There is maple in here. The chairs are maple and the bases are, um, are all maple. <coughs> But the uh, core of the wood is a nice old core of solid wood. And it's veneer on here. I'm not quite sure what that is. I got a veneer book. Uh, I seen something with like an olive ash. I'm looking for my book, but I don't see it laying around here. <clears throat> but yeah, it's kind of like an olive ash type of wood. It's some kind of a... It's just gorgeous, you know, so. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. She's really scooting along. We've got uh, over here under this type of plastic. I got a plastic on it because it's gonna, it gets dusty in here. And this table's halfway finished. I just gotta do the shading on this. You know, <coughs> cabinet over here. So it's gonna be one beautiful outfit. I can't wait to put it all together. And, the only problem I got is I don't have a big enough shop to do a nice YouTube video on everything. But, well, we got a big enough shop. We just got too much junk in the shop. So, but uh, all right. Well, um, stay tuned. You can see it really starts to take some color there after it starts to dry down a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't put that much color on it. It's a very light color. been an off day for me today. <laughs> now this is the color I'm actually shading on it. You can see it on that stick. When I put it on this white paper, it show a little bit. Mm -hmm. You see it pretty decent? Yeah. It's just a very, very light, uh, walnut color so it like I said the, the veneer on this is just too darn pretty to be covering up so we don't want to cover this up muck it up too much it's just more of a solid woods and the edging here you can kind of see how 
this edging is right in here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the difference, but see after I shade it a little bit on the buffet, mm -hmm. you can really see a, a difference. Just enough to kind of tone it all back into where it was. And it's pretty close to what it was originally. I got the back panel to the, to the uh, china cabinet back there, and it's pretty darn close to that. The back panel is a touch darker um, than what I've got right here, but once again, like I say, you know, it's too pretty to darken up too much, and um, that back panel definitely had aged. I'll get it though. But... Yeah. That's the inner panel of what the piece was originally. But if you take a look over there and pan over onto the buffet, you can see it's really not that far off. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. Like I said, I have not shaded leaf yet. I shaded the like, chairs a little bit. Um, I don't know if I want to put too much more color on the, on the maple. It looks real kind of pretty the way it is. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's fairly close to the background color. Some of these pieces in here are right on the money. Um, but like I said, as this stuff gets old, it does age and it kind of uh, fades out in color. It's not really quite the true color. If this looks so nice, I wouldn't want to change it much. So. Well, uh, have a nice day, and uh, we'll keep you posted on this job. This is a big job here. It's going to be going on uh, for a while. It's been in the shop for a while. we got a deadline to get it up to Chicago here pretty quick, so we'll be busted on this every day. Have a good day. Thanks.